Welcome to 5-Minute STEM. In this video we're going to be going over image segmentation and showing one of the techniques for going about that in MATLAB. Um, as always, I will have a link in the description to my website where you can find this code that we go over today, as well as some additional information. So image segmentation is defined as the process of dividing a digital image into many parts in order to transform the image's data into something that's more meaningful and easier to understand and analyze, both from our perspective and the computer's perspective. So the simplest technique for segmenting an image is through the use of thresholds. So that would be, you know, using some sort of value and based on your pixels value, it could be, you know, if it's less than that threshold value, then let's say it would change to the value of zero, which would be black, or the value of white, which would be one. So we'll show that example right now first, and then we'll show multiple uh, threshold values. So I am read, we'll read in an image first. Then we will convert the image to grayscale. Then we are going to calculate a threshold value. And MATLAB has a built-in function for this, which is gray thresh. Um, then we will convert the image to black and white using the threshold value. So based off of this value, the pixels will either become black or white. Then we can use the built-in function um, to change it to black and white, gray, and then the threshold, calc, and then I am show pair, I am image thresh, montage. All right, so let's run that. All right, looks good, two different values, simple as that. Now, in a lot of cases, we may want more than one threshold value. So I can show that as well. We'll change the image to, let's say, cameraman. This would typically happen if you have a lot more data in your image. In the last image that we just did, it was buttons. There wasn't a lot of change, so it worked. But in this image, we may want more thresholds. So it's already in grayscale, so we don't need that. Right here, we will do multi-thresh. image and then you set your value of thresholds. So let's say we want three thresholds. That means I'm expecting us to have four different uh, values or colors. All right, and then I'm just gonna say the image segmented. Um, right here, I am quantize. This is the built-in function that you use for the multi-thresholds. I am, and then threshold, calc, and image segmented. All right, I think that's it. Let's run it. Oops, forgot. All right, so as you can see, there's a white value, a light gray value, dark gray value, and then a black value. All right, we can change this though to RGB values to make it easier. So I will show you how to do that. It's just RGB equals label 
to RGB, um, an image segmented. And then we show the RGB. So again, I'm expecting three different color values. And yep, red, yellow, blue, and then cyan. And it's as easy as that. That's how you use um, thresholding to segment an image into different